Hello Facebook world and welcome to our second Facebook Live from the headquarters of Novasol Spray UK. Thank you very much to everyone who supported the last Facebook Live that we did. We're back to do another one and hopefully this is now going to become part of a series of things we're going to do. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bunting which is really easy to do with our spray paint. If you haven't met me before, just to let you know, um, I am one of the team of blogging ambassadors who works with Novasol Spray, and we are called Pinty Plusers. You can find us on Instagram by using the hashtag Pinty Plusser, and you'll see some of the projects that we've been working on. But first, let's get going then with this project. This is so easy to do, and the results of it are fantastic, and it makes a really good present as well for kids. So first of all, what you need are some wooden bunting flags. Now, these you can buy on eBay. They are very cheap to buy. And if you're like me, what you can do is you can buy a load of them to keep in stock and then use them for kids' uh, Facebook, uh, kids', kids uh, Christmas presents and birthday presents. If you've got young children and they go to parties, you can personalise the bunting and then give them a string of bunting. So they come in different shapes. This is just a couple of them. We've got stars and we've got hearts. And we also have the triangles, which are really popular. Now, if you just bear with me for a moment, I'm just going to have a quick look. I'm going to put the stream on on my iPad so that I can see if any of you guys have any questions as we go along. So let's click on to that. OK, so if you have any questions while this is going on, please do just put them on the bottom beneath. And also, if you're watching this and you've used our product before, then please do comment so I can see that as well, because I'd be really interested to know where everyone is with the product. So, uh, we've got stars, we've got hearts, we've got triangles, and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do the hearts because they're nice and big, and I'm going to use washi tape. Washi tape is fab, by the way. You can buy this, again, very cheaply on Amazon and eBay and um, in some shops as well. You generally buy a roll of it like this, and what it is is it's just patterned sellotape. And the reason I'm using this as opposed to using masking tape is literally down to the fact that masking tape is that wide and washi tape is that wide. So it's nice to have a little bit of narrow washi tape. So get your washi tape, find the end of it, and you can apply this to the surface of your unsprayed wooden bunting piece. So what you can do is, you, you literally can go crazy with this. So you don't have to do stripes. You can, um, we did a workshop for this, the Country Living um, Fair up in London, and people coming up with all sorts of creative ideas. So you literally can just do anything you want. I can't find the end of this washi tape. <laughs> it's endless washi tape. Okay, hang on. <laughs> I'm struggling a little. Um, if anyone in the office is listening, by the way, and they want to see if they can find some of the other washi tape in the bag, you know, that's always good. Right, so, there we go. Ah, right. So literally, just put it across. I'm going to do kind of stripey, diagonal stripes. And up like this. Stuck my fingers. Do another bit. So what I'm doing is I'm masking out segments of the heart. And I'm going to reapply that bit there because that was a bit rubbish. There we go, found the end now. Don't panic by the way guys, I'm, I'm all over it with washi tape now. All over it. There we go. So there's the first one, just to show you. That's the first one. So what I've done is I've just kind of masked off sections of it. It looks very pretty with just the washi tape on it, but that will come off at the end. So usually when we're doing this, we do a length of about eight and what we did in the workshop is that we had four which were plain and four which were covered by the washi tape. So if you bear with me, I will just do the other three. Um, now, if you are new to our chalk paint, let me tell you a little bit about it. It comes in, I was going to say 18 colours, but literally, since the last time we went live, it's now 19 colours. How exciting is that? And we have a new colour, which is there, which is glamour red. So that's our brand new colour, 19 colours. If you've used chalk paint before, then you will know the many benefits of chalk paint, which is that you can apply it to a surface without preparing the surface. So if you've got something that's varnished and you don't want to sand it down, then you can just apply it straight onto that. You can also put it onto glass, onto metal, onto fabric. You can use it as a dye on fabric, which is incredible. So 
you don't get a kind of crunchy finish to the fabric, it just sinks into it and um, it uses the dye from the paint to add colour to the fabric. Um, and if you want to know how that's done, by the way, on our blog, we have a tutorial about how to do it. So the blog, of course, is on novasandspray.co.uk. Now, I've nearly done my four. I think maybe next time if we do this, I might splash out and buy some scissors. Because <laughs> my dental bill could be a lot bigger. Uh, also, before I, um, before I finish doing this, I must tell you that the reason that you're watching this is obviously because it's a fascinating and amazing demonstration, but also because I will be giving you a 20% off discount code by the time I finish. So you have to hang on for that. Right, so there we go. We've got four which are masked and they have the stripes over the top of them. Uh, if you're watching this and you've got any comments, please do leave them beneath the live feed. And if you're just joining us and you're wondering what on earth is going on, we are making wooden spray painted bunting. It's incredibly quick to do and very good in its results. So let's get four of the solid ones out as well. And also, if you're joining us halfway through and you're wondering where we get the wooden bunting from, it comes from eBay and it's very cheap and also has holes in it already, which is good. So let's pick colours. Um, I'm going to go for... Oh, let's, let's use the glamour red because we've got some. Glamour red, um, grey. Anyone got any suggestions on the other colours that I can use? Anyone who's watching, if you have any suggestions, um, let's go for... Should we go for blue or yellow? Yeah, or yellow. Let's go for mustard. Now the mustard colour is actually quite a um, quite a pale yellow. It's not as warm as perhaps you might associate with a mustard colour. It's more of a lemony colour, but I'll show you what that looks like. So let's spray our first one. Let's try not to spray the iPad. Now the key when you're doing this is to apply light layers and to build up your colour. It is very tempting, once you've got a spray can in your hand, to go a little bit crazy and to kind of keep covering up the bits that you've missed. Don't do that because what will happen is you'll end up with the paint running everywhere. So I'm now using grey. Again, if you haven't seen our products before, just to tell you that um, they all have Spanish names on them because Novasol Spray is in fact a Spanish product. So if you look at a can, you'll discover that they have Spanish names on them, but they do have English equivalent. Now this is the Glamour Red, and this is the first time I'm using it. Not the first time anyone's used this can, actually. Let's see. Right, I'm just trying not to spray on top of the ones I've already done. Do a red one here. Wow, look at that. Okay. That's a very vibrant red. Okay. That's the Glamour Red, and I'm going to go for one more colour. Um, any suggestions on colours coming in? No, not yet, but I will take pink. Let's take pink. This is rose petals. And we have several pinks. So this is a colour that it comes out like. That's, that's rose petals. Uh, but we also have a lighter colour pink as well. There we go. <laughs> I'm doing that thing I told you not to do, which is going back and adding a bit more paint. Right, so let's just let those dry for a moment. When we were doing the country living workshops, we literally let stuff dry for about five minutes. Technically, you're supposed to let them dry for 20 minutes, but honestly, on a warm day like today, five minutes is absolutely fine. So to let you know as well, to finish off, we have several different options with our spray paints. So we have two varnishes. Uh, this is a matte varnish. This is the Pinty Plus matte varnish. If you apply this to something you've painted, it leaves it with a finish that you can barely see. So it's just a protective coating that you can put on to waterproof it and make it more durable. But honestly, you can't actually see it on the end. So you still get the kind of chalky finish that lots of people like with chalk paints. Uh, we also have a spray wax. This is very new to the range. And this gives, obviously, a waxy kind of finish to it so it's a sort of it's it's somewhere between the matte and the gloss and it has that sort of waxy feel to the end result and we have a Pinty Plus art and craft varnish in gloss which gives it a gloss finish and that is a kind of much coveted look that people have been trying to achieve with chalk paint is hard to achieve you can now achieve it with a gloss varnish so they're all available on our website and uh, that's novasolspray.co.uk. As I say, I will be giving you a 20% discount code when we have finished doing this.
this project, so bear with us. Right, I'm going to go back in for second coats on these. So that's the mustard going on. Second one of that. Uh, which one did I do after that? I think I did the glamour red. Where's that gone? Here, no, that's the varnish. That's the glamour red. Right, so here's the glamour red going in. Second one. Now I mentioned earlier that this is a, a good project to do if you've got children's parties and children's birthdays and you want to give them a gift and you need to have a kind of go-to gift. Let me show you this. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll spray the first two. I'll spray those first and then I'll show it to you. Hang on a second. Let's do those. Let's get those done and they can be drying before I witter on. Right, last one. Okay. Right, they can dry and then I'll just show you this. So if you want to do personalised wooden bunting with the stray paint, this is what you can achieve. So this is one that I did for my daughter. And the way I achieve that is you can buy reusable stencils, again, on eBay. You stick them onto your wooden template, and then you use masking tape to mask off the area that you want to remain as wood. So you apply the masking tape, and then you get a craft knife, and you cut out in the inside there, remove the stencil, and then what you have left is that area where the letter is, is masked off with the masking tape. You then spray it, remove the masking tape, and you've got a letter left. So just to show you what that looks like, that's, that's the end result that you get if you've masked off an area for a letter. And it's so quick to do, and who doesn't love a bit of personalised bunting? It's a brilliant little project. So those are drying. Um, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to finish these off with one of our varnishes. Now, ordinarily, if this is just going to hang up in a children's bedroom or hang up anywhere, you don't necessarily need to use the varnish because it's not going to have a lot of contact with it. So if it's just going to be a picture frame or something like that, or bunting that you're spraying and you hang it up on the wall and it's not going to be touched a lot, it's absolutely fine to leave it without a varnish or a wax to finish it. If you're doing something like a chair or a table, then obviously you need to protect it with a wax or a varnish. I'm going to put some on today just to show you what it looks like, but strictly speaking, if you're doing this project at home, you don't need it. So, let's see. Uh, we've got the wax. This is drying well. Um, if you do this project where you mask off areas, you can either remove the tape before you put the wax or the varnish on, or you can remove the tape afterwards. It really makes no difference. It's just a question of whether you apply the varnish or the wax to the wooden parts of the bunting. So, that's a personal choice. So let's just see if we have any questions coming in. Um, no questions yet, but if you're watching this stream and you do have any questions, then please do put them below. And also, I would love to know if any of you guys have used our product or if you have used chalk paint in any type. So if you've used chalk paint in a tin and you've used it, you've made something over, I'd love to know about it. And also, if you've got a picture of something that you've made over, if you did a brilliant project, if you had something that looked very neglected and you sprayed it up or you painted it up, Love to see a before and after picture, that would be fantastic. So let's give these a wax spray. Now, as you can see, wax is something that we generally associate with being quite gloopy, for want of a better word. This is not gloopy. It smells a little bit like shoe polish. Which actually is quite a nice smell. Well, maybe that's just me, I don't know. So there we go. We're giving them a good coverage. We're going to let them dry a little bit and then I'm going to peel off the bits that I've masked out. And obviously what you would do when you finish this is you would get your twine. Again, can be found on eBay very cheaply. And you would feed your twine through the little holes which are pre-punched in the wooden bunting. And what you do obviously is you put them around the back of the bunting like that and they're out of the way, and it's a very easy project to do. So literally, within 15 minutes, you've got a complete string of bunting. So there we go. Um, while that's drying, before I take off the tape to show you, I'm just going to show you our selection of colours. So there we go. They, there are the 18. I haven't got the glamour red on there because that is so new in here. But um, we have our white, we have our stone. These are two of the most popular colours 
that we sell. Um, we also have, that's the rose petal which I used, and um, that's the, the rose garden. Um, turquoises are very popular as well. We have a pale turquoise and a normal turquoise, and a grey and a black, beige Sahara. That's the mustard. You know, I was telling you about the mustard, and I was saying that actually it's quite a lemony sort of mustard colour. That is it. I have a bench in my garden that I'm rather fancy spraying with that colour because I think it looks fantastic. If you do want to do stuff for outside, by the way, you can do that. All you need to do is just apply a varnish to waterproof it. So you can use this on garden furniture as well. Brilliant. Right, let's see if I can get away with peeling off this masking tape. If you're doing this project at home, by the way, <laughs> I'd probably allow a little bit longer to let them dry, but if you're doing it for the Facebook world, you have to be a bit speedier. Okay, they're coming off, coming off. It's interesting, in different lights, this is the grey, it looks quite bluey in certain lights, but it is, it is definitely a grey. Okay, coming off. Okay, this is still a little bit blobby because it's, it's still drying, but that's just to show you the effect that you're achieving. And if you have a craft knife, if you, have, if you didn't stick your masking tape down quite firm enough and you've got a little bit of seepage, when it dries, what you can do is you can get the, the craft knife and you literally can scrape that off and it comes off really easily. So if there's any sort of not perfect lines, you can do that. So there you go, that is um, eight of our squares all sprayed up. You can see all the different colours of them. I'm not going to peel the tape off all the other ones because you may get a little bit bored with me, but I'll do it while I'm talking to you on this one. Uh, now, discount code. I know you're dying for it. If you want to buy some chalk paints on our website, novasulfspray.co.uk, and you want a 20% discount code, which is valid, until midnight tomorrow, which is Thursday. This is the discount code that you need. Are you ready? It's the right way around this time as well. There you go, Unicorn 20. Because unicorns are really in at the moment, just like chalk paint. Unicorn 20, head to our website, novaselfspray.co.uk, and you can get a 20% discount code. If you are watching this back as an on-demand video and you have enjoyed watching it, please do comment and also, let us know the kind of projects that you would like to see us do on Facebook Live. Fantastic. Thank you very much for joining us. And Charles, if you could press the button, we'll say goodbye. Bye-bye, everyone.